Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your mid-July reading. This is uh, meant to be for July 16th to the 22nd, but as we all know, timing is fluid, so whenever it resonates, okay? This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind that not every reading will resonate with you, so if it feels right, it's for you. If it feels wrong, it is not. Um, generally, my readings are love readings. If you're worried about your bank account, then this reading is not for you. I'm not going to discuss your bank account here. Um, yeah, we're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, and then we're going to break into that tarot deck. If you'd like a private reading, the description box has that information below. Oh, if it flips out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Focus upon divine and perfect health. This is from Archangel Michael. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. Focus on divine and perfect health. Justice. Justice is about to be served, Sagittarius. Woohoo! It's your turn, huh? It is. Karma. Coming around in your favor. Uh oh. Nothing like a kick in the ass, huh? Not like you haven't felt that before. Anyway, um, this is actually good karma. It is good karma. It's going to allow you to heal. It's going to allow you to start mending. Um, it's severing ties with something that wasn't emotionally fulfilling. So congratulations. This really is good. It feels as though it's time for you to be happy. You don't need to prove yourself at this time. Happiness is coming. Okay? And that is justice for you. Self-love. New opportunity. Stability, security, money. We know we weren't talking about money, but you could be getting some sum of money. Okay, you could be. Or something, you know, this is some sort of abundance coming in. So let me just zoom this in and we are going to keep going. Whew. So other people see... Other people see that you are loving yourself more than ever. They see uh, tranquility. They see calmness within you. So congratulations. Okay, other you're projecting yourself compassionately. Okay, so wonderful. Your challenge is the Five of Cups reversed. This is telling me that, you know, your challenge is coming out of this darkness. Your challenge is accepting the truth of a situation. Your challenge is overlooking difficulty and realizing that you do have other opportunities. Okay, that's your challenge. Um, your challenge is conflicts, facing conflicts and not needing to prove yourself. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. No one. Okay? So that's your challenge. You don't have to prove yourself. All right? You're beautiful as just as you are. Doesn't matter what they think. Okay? Your overall basis of this reading is the wheel of fortune reversed. You've been through a lot of bad luck. You have. You've had one thing right after another. Okay? And it's left you feeling, you know, a lack of emotional fulfillment, a lack of, of feeling. Uh, love on the inside maybe you were feeling like people didn't love you or you didn't love yourself whatever that's the overall basis of this reading you've been through a a rough patch a rough time things have been 
you know, it's like you've been through a, a storm, you know, what is that tumble storm, you know, what, I don't know what it's called, but I was, I'm picturing it, you know, the, the weeds that run through the desert, whatever they are. I just thought I saw that in my head, a windstorm, a storm of some sort. You've been through some sort of storm that has left you feeling less than fulfilled, okay? It's made you feel really down in the dumps, but that's the past. And now it's time to relight that fire. It is. It's time to relight that fire that has been put out. You know, if you don't allow growth, it won't happen. Growth has happened whether you like it or not, okay? But you've been, re you may have been uh, rejecting this growth, but it's happening. It's happening right behind the scenes. So I feel as though your advice is to allow this stability and this abundance and this security to come into your life. You have to allow it. And you allow it through following your intuition and self-love. Okay? Just keep that in mind. Here, at the Nine of Cups, this is about wish fulfillment. It's also a card of ego, but it's reversed. So your wishes haven't been, re been fulfilled, but it could have been because you weren't wishing for the right things. Just keep that in mind. Um, there's no growth when you wish for the wrong thing. You know what I mean? So if you've been rejected, see, this is just an example. Say you've been rejected by a job or another person or something. You've been rejected and you focused on that. Your thoughts truly do become things. So if you're focused on that negativity, if you're focused on that loss, then you're not going to have the growth. Okay, you're not going to, that's, that, you know, your visions, your thoughts truly become things. If you change your thoughts, you change your life. So just keep that in mind. So I want to know what this abundance is. This abundance in the future, this ten of pentacles, stability, security, happy family. What is this? Ooh! A wonderful. So this is a this is the rebirth. This is a renewal. This is a, a self love. Okay. This is a woman or a person that walks in purpose. And Sagittarius is a sign of purpose. Okay. You don't have to chase people. You don't have to chase opportunities because you are light, and these op the right opportunities. The right people will chase you. They see that you are light. So if they are not, okay, some people can't see the light. Some people are so dark and they refuse and they um, they have to back away from the light or they have to try to bring the light down. Okay, they don't want it. They don't want to. They can't go near the light. So they will do whatever they can do to bring you down. And when you are in this position. And you're vibrating at this level. And you are glowing. And your light is shown uh, very vibrantly to others. There will be people in your life that try to bring you down. And that is their ego. Okay? That is their ego trying to bring you down. Your challenge is to not let them dim your light. And in some instances, you have. You have allowed other people to dim your light. But we're talking about the future now. We're talking about the future. Woo! Okay, great. So you guys are, are coming back. You're coming back. You're back, going back up. Climbing up back up that ladder. Can't hold me down. Are you kidding me? Your vibrancy, your attractiveness, your confidence, your courage, your strength, your passion, your light is being relit. And there is anybody that can hold you back. You are regaining your focus. You're regaining your concentration. You're getting creative to bring success to your life. And you are taking the lead. Congratulations. Woo! Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see the goosebumps. You guys have a... Uh, you're stepping over the finish line. A phase of troubled times is over. It's over. It's, it's, it's a new chapter, a new life is beginning for you. Where I see success, I see a lot of success, victory. 
victory and success with abundance. I mean, this is really, really, really good. Victory and success with abundance, stability, security, vibrancy, uh, creativity, courage, confidence, um, success. I mean, I'm speechless. You go from a run, a year, or whatever how long this was, of bad luck to justice being served and you coming right back up on top, right back to the top. Okay, so I feel like you guys have a, have a uh, you've completed one major phase of your life. This phase has taught you a lot. It's taught you a lot. You've suffered. You have. You've suffered. You've went through some sort of suffering. Okay, you have. But now, that phase, that difficult period is over. You're coming out of difficulty. And there's a new opportunity for a brand new chapter to begin in which there is... It's like a whole new world. A whole new world for you. A whole new life. Where you are in the... you are in, I was going to say leadership, but I couldn't think of the right words to put with it. You know, you guys are in the lead. You guys are going to be the boss. You guys are, are moving up. You're moving up. You know, you guys are being looked upon as a leader at this point. Re, you guys are regaining structure and organization over over who you are. You know, you guys are, are getting yourself back on track. Getting back into your element. Relighting that fire within and you're taking the lead. Dominating. You're dominating the situation. Making solid, strong decisions. And people are looking up to you. In the future, people are going to be looking up to you. Coming to you. They, you know, you guys have gained wisdom through this suffering. So now you are being looked up to for your wisdom. Definitely. Mmm. Now, this is a contradiction, okay? The Six of Wands reverse is lack of confidence, not making progress, no victory and success. You know, if you, you have to enjoy life. You have to not sweat the small stuff. You need to... Not be greedy. You need to make sure that money is not more important than love at this time. So I feel like there's definitely a contradiction here. You could you could go backwards if you focus on one thing more than the other. You know, if you're too focused on your finances, too focused on your job, too focused on everything but what really matters. So in one arena, there's victory and success. In another, there isn't. Be careful what you choose. Be careful what you put your effort in. This is, this is crazy because it feels as though you may not... You might not know your worth. You may not know... How to enjoy all this abundance. Because it's been a struggle for so long. Okay? You may not know how to enjoy. The finer things in life. How to treat yourself with compassion. How to put yourself first. You've been wounded so badly that your guard is up so it feels as though you may bury yourself in everything but love because there's not a lot of love here focus on my job focus on my career focus on my money because almost like love isn't real 
And you know my readings are love readings. So I try to gear them around love. So it feels to me like right now, you guys have lost your passion for love. It's like, I don't even believe in love at this point. I don't believe in love. Right now, I need to focus on my, my job, my career, my career, climbing up that ladder, becoming successful again, not letting people bring me down, not letting people bring me backwards, not letting people tell me I'm not worthy, that I'm not good enough, or they don't like me, they don't like my temper, they don't like my voice, they don't like me. You know, whatever it is, I feel as though you guys are, are, are slowly coming out of this period of caring what these people think. You know, I, I don't even give a shit anymore. So I feel like you guys have closed yourself off. You have, so you may not know how to enjoy this abundance that's coming in that you've worked so hard to obtain. I feel like you guys have worked really hard to overcome adversity. And, you know, justice is going to be served in your favor because you haven't given up. Although it's come close a couple times. You've come close to giving up. I think that you haven't given up. You've persevered. It hasn't been easy. And now you've you've really buried yourself in rising again. And a lot of this rising again is career rise, money wise, financially. And I know that I say that these aren't financial readings. But because I want people to focus on love. I mean, that's what... That should be your number one bullet in life is love and kindness and compassion. But for some, they've been hurt so badly in their life and they've been rejected so much that they, they don't see love. You know, they can't allow love in because they don't even know what it is. So I feel like at this point, you know, this is a week of you regaining some confidence to, to go back to work, to rise yourself up again and to get to where you need to be. You bring abundance into your life by this focus and concentration and amb newfound ambition after feeling down. But I feel like you're not allowing love to be the number one bullet. Once again, it's not number one. I think your job, your career you know, is number one. And that's where your victory and success lies in your career. But as far as your love relationship goes, that's on the back burner once again, because you're focusing on everything but that. So is this a love reading? It's a love for your job. It's a love for your career. It's a love for climbing a ladder. And sometimes you need to do that. So I'm not judging you. I'm not saying that it's wrong, but I feel like you guys are gaining some sort of abundance whether you're receiving an extra payout or a raise or whatever it is you know i receive or even a um, new title you know at your job maybe you're getting uh you know you're moving up the ladder you know so i feel as though you know this is love she's ruled by venus and she doesn't need much. And this is about balance, okay? So make sure that you take time to balance love and work. That's advice for you. Do you have time for love? You're watching a love reading. I, You guys all know that I do love readings. You want love, right? But you don't want to put effort into it. You, you know, whatever. If you don't... Put effort into love. You aren't going to get love. Right now you guys are focusing on relighting the flame. Relighting the spark within you. To get yourself to where you need to be. So that you can love. You've lost hope. But you've lost faith in love. But as far as I can see, you guys are relighting the flame. You're relighting the fire. You're re redefining yourself at this time. And it's a good thing. It's a positive thing. It doesn't mean that love won't ever come in. It doesn't mean that you won't ever uh, change your priorities. It means that right now, you need to climb the ladder wherever you need to climb it and do what's right for you, okay? doesn't matter what anybody else says. It's about what you need. It's about what you have to do. And it, you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. You don't. Okay? So I feel like this is a week of refinding that passion to climb the ladder.
I see victory and success. I see a new, a new, a whole new world, a whole new life where you're on top. Focus upon divine and perfect health. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. Ancestral Wisdom we are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences. Learn and grow from your past experiences. And you have. You have. You are our legacy. And we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. And I know that many of you are, are old souls. And there's a purpose for everything in your life. Right now, I think it's a time of, of working on your career. Your success. Your leadership ability. Your job your financial abundance. I know I try to make these love readings, but if it's if it's not in the cards, it's not in the cards. I'm not saying that some of you aren't falling in love. Okay, this is for somebody. It's not going to be for everybody. Right now, the main focus for the majority of the people watching this reading that are drawn to my reading, the majority of the focus is on your health and your security and your abundance. The cycle of hardship in your life is over. And it's because you get creative to bring success to your life. Congratulations. 